Hey, welcome back to our shop just outside Kennesaw here in North Georgia. Well, I got a pair of mid-century modern lamps that need to be refinished, and I wasn't thinking, but it just dawned on me that we haven't ever done one of these together, so I thought I'd bring you along and show you how I do it. Just a word of caution, you're going to be removing electrical cords and reinstalling electrical cords. If that's something that you're uncomfortable with, please don't do this. It's not worth getting hurt or starting a fire. But you'll see how I disassemble this lamp. We're going to refinish the wood top and bottom and we'll reassemble the lamp and I'll show you the finished product. So I think it's going to be interesting. Stick with us. Here we go. And This is the reason why we have to refinish these lamps. We have a lot of failing finish on the base of one of the lamps as well as there was a pretty significant crack right there. Now I've filled that crack and sanded it smooth and took all the finish off. So I figured with all this patching work, why don't we just take some stripper, strip this off, do both lamps, reshoot them with a fresh coat of lacquer and I think they'll look great. So this is, these are the two wood parts that we're going to be moving towards. And over on the bench here, these are the metal parts we'll be taking out. I'm not exactly sure what these are all called. This, this tube threads in at top and bottom, it pulls everything tight. This is for the harp. This is a little decorative piece. And here is the socket. And this socket fits into this socket base here. And you'll see how they come apart. Well, fits in like this. And you'll see how they come apart in just a minute. So here we go. The first step is to remove the harp. Just slide these two pieces up. Squeeze that. That's all there is to it. Now the order in which you disassemble these is entirely up to you. It really doesn't make that big of a difference. We're going to release this little set screw here. That holds the socket, the threaded portion of the socket down. And then if you look on the socket carefully, sometimes it'll tell you where to press it. But the word press is written right there. And I just press this down with my thumb. Now this can be a little bit fiddly, so don't get frustrated, but there we go. These will eventually come off. And then the socket cap comes off. And here are your electrical connections. One of them is silver and one of them is not. Mark, I marked the silver one. Silver is uh, the neutral leg I believe. And then just unscrew the wire. and then you can set your socket aside. Now with the screw loose, now with the screw loose, you should be able to unthread this socket base. Now if you feel like you're not making any progress when you're unthreading it, reach down below and make sure that the rod that goes through the center of the lamp is not turning as well. But that's what we're threading this off of. And now it's off. In order to dis help disconnect the wire from the top, I'm going to feed some wire in from the bottom. And basically I'm just going to pull some of the, the cord through here and then we'll be able to push it through. And what this gives us and what this gives us is a little room to manipulate this. As you can see, there's a strain relief knot here that has to be untied. Don't neglect to re-knot this when you put it through. It keeps the wires from, from pulling through. Okay, off comes your socket base. Off comes your harp mount. Off comes this decorative finial. And you notice I'm keeping these in order to help me remember how they go on, although it's pretty obvious. Now down here at the base of the lamp, we have another nut 
that tightens against the threaded base of the socket to keep the rod tight. We just unthread this and there's a lock nut in here as well, lock washer. But with that out, we should be able to pull the lamp apart and pull the wires out. Here's the wire. Now remember, when you reassemble this, to run this wire through this hole before you do anything. Otherwise, you'll be setting the lamp on top of the wire and it will drive you insane for the rest of your life. And the last thing we do is just pull this rod right out of the center of the lamp. And now what I do is just kind of reassemble it loosely so all the parts stay together. I don't lose them there. I, I normally don't push this socket cap back in until I'm ready to assemble the lamp finally. I just don't want to put too much wear on it. So I'll just set this aside and uh, we'll get going on the wood. And we're outside now. We're going to strip this just the way we did have done almost every other project. Just some methylene chloride stripper. Lay it on the piece. Let the stripper do the work. Keep the piece wet. And pull the finish off. Alrighty, we've got the uh, finish stripped off of these pieces and they have been uh, wiped down with lacquer thinner to scrub, scrub down with lacquer thinner to get the last of the finish off and then neutralized with some water. A couple of interesting things I want to show you on this piece here and as you know this is a uh, has a hollow body and it's a turn piece and right there <laughs> whoever turned it went a little deep and went right through. So we're going to try to put some epoxy in that and close that up. And then right there, if you can see it, is a factory patch where they went through there as well. So I'll take care of these. And we're going to uh, put a little colored toner on this. So I'm going to go just a little bit darker than existing with the epoxy putty. And the next step is just to sand it with some 150. And with the repairs done, I turned uh, down a couple of sections of dowel and basically just ground them down on the belt sander and uh, stuck them up inside the, uh, the hole in the uprights of the lamps and then clamped them <clears throat> with some wood screws. So I've got a way of holding the, uh, the lamp bodies up straight. So the next step is to go outside and uh, seal them up. So let's go. And I've mixed up some raw umber dye with some lacquer and some thinner to create a toner. And we're just going to put a little toner on this and see how it looks. And that adds just a little bit of brown to it. I like it. All right, the boss is okay with the color, so let's get it top coated. Good morning. The lacquer's had a chance to get good and hard. Let's put this back together. And the first step is to feed the wire in through the back of the lamp and up through that central hole in anticipation of running it up into the socket.
Next, we put on the washer, I'm sorry, the nut and the lock washer, and then feed the wire up through the base, as you see here. And we're going to put the, uh, we've got the wire through that central rod already. We inserted the rod up and through the, the main portion of the lamp. And then we're going to thread the rod in at the bottom into the nut and lock washer that we have down there just to start to secure things. And you can see in this close-up that the lock washer goes on first, then the nut, straighten out the wire, and now we're ready to work on the top. And keeping things in order is the nature of this uh, assembly. So that little escutcheon goes on, and the harp frame, then we screw on the socket receptacle, I guess the socket base you would call it, and the, the threading of that against the threading of the nut is what keeps the lamp taut and together. So we've got that on there, so we're happy with it. Now I've got plenty of extra wire pulled through to make it a little bit easier. I'm tying a knot in there. That's that relief knot we talked about earlier. And we open the, the screw, get the wire in there in the direction that the, the screw will turn down. So in other words, you want to turn your screw to the right to tighten it. You want your the curve of your wire to go to the right. That way as you tighten it, it cinches down the wire instead of opening it up. Here's a close-up of the wire uh, properly mounted into the socket. And with the socket base installed and the socket attached to the wires, what we can do is just pull the wire, excess wire back through the bottom and then push the socket into the socket base to secure it. It's important to me to get that switch right square in between the harp mounts so it's easy to get to. And here's our lamp all put together. I think it looks really nice. And the only thing we have left to do really is just to put the, uh, the harp on do final tightening and bring it inside. And to put the harp on all you do is uh, slide those little locks up, squeeze it, put it into the mounts, slide the locks down and you got it. There they are all set up. I think they look gorgeous. Let's turn the lights off so you can take a closer look. And here they are. They're displayed next to a pair of Hager sculptures from the 1960s. That's how they came out, and I'm, I'm real happy with it. What do you all think? I like them. And I hope you enjoyed this, this project. It was something a little new for us. So remember, from our shop just outside Kennesaw here in North Georgia, best regards, thanks for watching, take good care, and remember, just wood color and some shiny stuff, and please, like, comment, and subscribe to the channel, share with your friends, we're going to try to make the channel grow. Appreciate it, see you next video, bye.